moving on to the next problem the same type of problem but the data are different here a student focused the image of a candle flame on a white screen using a convex lens a student focused the image of a of a candle flame on a white screen using a convex lens he noted noted down the position of the candle screen and the lens as given below the position of the candle flame 12 cm the position of the lens 50 cm position of the screen 88 cm they are asking subdivision 1 find the focal length of the convex lens subdivision 2 find the object distance of the candle flame if it is shifted towards the lens at the position of 31 cm here the v dash stands for image distance of the candle flame and third subdivision state the nature of the image formed if the candle flame is further shifted towards the lens the same set of problem only but the data are different here now we move on to solve this problem yes what is it these set of problems we have to draw a meter scale object lens square where the object is located yes the object is located at 12 cm and the position of the lens is 50 mm and what is the image object distance yes minus 38 Yes, thirty eight, thirty eight. And using lens formula, one by f is equal to one by p minus one by u. What is the u value we have? Yes, one by thirty eight minus. What is the u value? Minus of thirty eight. So minus u minus plus for one to one by thirty eight minus u minus plus one by thirty eight. Is equal to one by f. Therefore, one by f is equal to two by thirty. You can cancel it. One divided by nineteen. Therefore, f is equal to nineteen centimeter. And this focal length of the convex lens is nineteen centimeter. And in subdivision two, what they are asking? If the object is shifted, yes, if the object is shifted at thirty one centimeter. So now we are moving on to the object as So what is the u value? Minus 90 centimeter. We have fixed. We have found 90 centimeter. Instead of I can put u dash because we change the distance right from 12 centimeter to 30 centimeter. We have to find out the new image distance v dash. Again use lens formula. The same lens formula. 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u. We need to find out. So just for our understanding, one by f is equal to one by v dash minus one by u dash. We want to find out v dash. Therefore, this comes to I guess the side one by f plus one by u is equal to sorry, one by u dash is equal to one by v dash. For our writing purpose, one by v dash is equal to one by f plus one by u dash. What is f? 90 plus 40 plus minus 50. Yes, which is equal to 1 by 50. Therefore, 1 by 50 is equal to 1 by 90 plus into minus minus. Therefore, 1 by 50 is equal to 0 by 90. Yes, 0 by 90. 1 by 50 is equal to 0. Therefore. Just cross multiply. V dash equal to one by zero. One by V dash equal to zero. Therefore, just cross multiply. This zero comes to denominator, and V dash will go to here. One by zero is infinity. So in that problem also, the image will form at infinity distance because object is located at exactly at f one. 
if it is located, the object is located, located at F1, it should be, the image should be formed at infinity. Yes, we have the table column, right? For the position and image of the various uh, distance for the conversions. Check with that, you can easily understand. And they are asking the nature, nature of the image for the third subdivision. Further, if it is shifted towards the lens, what will happen? Located between F and optical center, right? This is the optical center, right? So, optical center. So, between optical center, uh, the object is located between optical center and the principal focus. What will happen? Yes. Here also the same. It will produce a virtual and erect and also magnified image. Yes, because the image will be formed on the same side of the object size, which is larger in size. The image will be very larger than compared larger compared to object. Yes, magnified virtual and error image we will get. Further, if you have shifted this object towards lens, the third I hope you understand.